Greetings, worthless peons. Time for a treasure hunt. Let's go. Hmm. Interesting. Can't do much about that right now. It's probably on this side. Ah. Okay. That's a puzzle. Interesting, interesting. This puzzle's actually gonna take some brain power. Or brute forcing it, like I always do. Actually, I'm curious about something here. Nope, okay, just checking. Luckily, I have Mr. Fish here to assist me. And punching fish that I don't actually want to. What the heck is that? I want that, though, that Nautilid. We're one level below what we should be here. That's perfectly fine. Everyone loves an underdog, don't they? Good. Got them all poisoned. Long slash! Get them all bleeding, too. Yeah. I don't think we can get them all burning, but we can damn sure try. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow. Healing wave! And it shields us, too, which is... ballin'. Let's throw out a couple of burns. And long slice again! I think the Nautilid is just resistant to physical, isn't it? No, no! He's been blinded! Do those fucking deal with it, sunglasses? Huh. Not expecting that. Okay. Yeah, the way to win, resist physical. Victory is ours! And we did get a Nautilid! And some levels! Let's, uh, hatch the Nautilid. And you can. Now, who can? And its name is... A Copyright Infringement! And a Nautilid. What shall I name you? You're creepy. Okay. I'll think of something. I think that's honestly more insulting than anything. Alright, now let's uh, skill up real fast. All right, now let's see what they do. Ah, improved swimming. Oh, nice, nice. Mr. Fish, unfortunately, you've been replaced. So now we can ignore this. Ooh, we can go back to the blue caves. There was that thing in the blue caves that had the water streams that we couldn't get. Oh, no. Am I playing Donkey Kong? Oh, jeez. Ah. Shit. Shit. That was my fault. God. Vigi games are hard for me because I'm dumb. Don't go too far. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, shit. There's treasure over there. The thing that I need. Frig. Oh. Treasure. We got a diadem. And that. 
shit. Yeah, that's not too bad. No. No way to get a monster like this eventually. Ah, more treasure. Perfect. I'm sorry I called you nose hair, but really, it's all I could think of. I'm not sorry, actually. You still look weird. Should have called you submarine. Except you're not marine. I mean, technically, yeah. I don't know how things work, guys. I just do stuff and sometimes things happen. All we've got so far is a little wee bit of treasure. And we're gonna need all three of the spectral keepers, keepers there to actually complete this little mission thing. Yep, there's one of them. It's obvious, isn't it? This place is suspicious, isn't it? That matches the clue, doesn't it? Takes three to enter the maw of the beast. Wasn't it something like that? I already tried those switches on the ground, though. Nothing seems to work. Putting rocks on them definitely doesn't help. Guess the clue is meant to say we need three people? Maybe there's somebody else around here who can help us. I saw Leonard a bit earlier around here. He was in the caves just above us. Maybe we could find him there and convince him to work with us. I know that can be tough since he's always so full of himself. Maybe beating him in an old-fashioned keeper duel will do the trick. How are we talking underwater? Like, serious, seriously, how are... how... what? Are there any treasures in here? No. Just monsters. No treasure, though. Which is a shame, because I'm all about them treasures. Actually, I'm pretty sure Leonard is probably about level 28 to level 30, so he might actually kick my ass. Unless he's an idiot. Ooh, treasure. A phoenix tier. I'm going to need that in a minute. All right. As I figured... I may as well... For the levels. Riot. And then throw out some dan- uh, some deep- uh, Dots. Shit. Excellent. 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 And then he's going to- Poison itself. Nice. Liquid! You're doing fine. Keep up. Keep up the good work. Puss! Long slash. Oh man, he used long slash again. What are the odds? Ah oh, man. May as well hear yourself. He, he top yourself off. Not quite, but you know it's damn close. Victory. Victory. Excellent. And we got another Ukan egg. See how long are these freaking caves? Hey, who's up there? Oh, it's you. Fate truly is a harsh mistress. I'm stuck down here, fated to starve in complete isolation. And just when I think that I'm seeing a ray of light on the dark horizon, don't listen to him, we need your help. We can't get out of here on our own. Don't just rush in this pit like we did. We need a flying monster. I mean one that is capable of improved flying. It is true that what my trusty companion is saying. For better or for worse, you are our only hope. I can tell you, though, that there are flying monsters at the eastern cliffs of Horizon Beach that are capable of improved flying. Ah. So you have to do is get one of those. Shouldn't be too hard, I hope. We should probably help them, right? Even if it's Leonard, leaving them down here would only just be cruel. I don't know, man. We could always just go get Will from the, uh, stronghold. 
We're gonna need a monster capable of improved flying, though. Let's try to find one at the eastern cliffs of Horizon Beach, as Leonard scared. Maybe we can find a way to evolve one of our normal flying monsters so it can fly higher. I mean, I can't go past it, neither. Okay. Well, let's go save Dipstick. Come, nose hair. I mean, you do have improved swimming, which is basically the same thing but in water. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't pay attention to such shit. God damn it. We should probably just fast forward or jump cut until I get to the thing. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we're gonna go with a jump cut. Okay, we have Pufferfish. Thornfish, my bad. What? They're gonna punch me too, aren't they? Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. Up, oh, shield up, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Slash! Hiya! 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 Oh, jeez, they have that thing that Liquid has. Every time I whack them, I'm gonna get a poison stack or two or five or twenty. They are unpetable fish. Pass the fish to die. Toxic slam! I was expecting that. But were you expecting this? I'm sure you were. Ow. You're painful to be around. I'll have to long slash next turn. Let's take care of that issue. Glow ball will be fine. And so will Puss because glow ball's here. Cat. Support. Cat. Brilliant. Is not it? We. Oui. Yeah, I should do more drugs. Oh. And tackle. Not bad. Okay. Nothing bad happening yet. Goody. Everyone's doing fine, so we can just plop a full utility on someone. And Toxic Slam, the one guy who wasn't poisoned yet. And just beat the crap out of this one poor bastard. I guess we're just gonna punch this guy with everyone we got. And everything we got. And see if he goes down. Yeah, he goes down. Nice. You got some iron out of it. Alright, so we're in a new-ish area. I'll probably explore this in my own time. Ooh, treasure. Level badge. Nice. Aha! This should be the eastern side of the beaches. And there's a teleporter, too. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, jeez. There's hidden floors. I mean, fake floors. Aha! What? Congo Mato! Yes! Well, let's beat the crap out of some beards. I'm a master bird beater. As you can see, 
I'm really good at killing birds. Ah, freaking dodos. Oh, jeez, that hurt me too. Stop that. Toxic slam. Can't get enough of it. Slash. Doing great. Luckily, I have so many bleed stacks I can just chuck around on people. It's actually kind of hilarious, actually. Full utility. Uh, the dodo is slightly tougher, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely tougher. And ow, 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 ow. Puss, heal yourself. And light that bird on fire. And then kill it. Sounds really bad when I say it out loud. And we got a dodo egg. God damn it. Oh, hey, a bridge. Let's see how long this bridge is. There's birds down there. I think the bird might be able to devolve, evolve. But I cannot say for sh- Oh, hey, it's you again! You're an alchemist, aren't you? I know your secrets. Nice cat. Oh, it's you again. How curious that we meet again and again during our travels, huh? And here of all places, too. This is the highest point of the Horizon Cliffs. Although the mountains of snowy peaks are much higher, I think they can't compete with the view you get here. By the way, those bird-like monsters around here are really good flyers. They can fly much higher than other flying monsters, yes, I know. Personally, I prefer to use my own strength to climb these mountains, though. Anyway, I've found something new that might be useful to you. I have, like, 20 of these... This switch stone can be used to change light shifted monster to its dark shifted form, or the other way around. Don't worry, I don't need it. I don't even have any shifted monsters yet. <laughs> Alright, hope to see you again soon. Okay, weirdo. Whoa! That's a cool bird. And a silver feather. Okay. A Silvero. Alright, I can just go evolve the bird into a bigger form of the bird. These things are level 30. They might actually be, uh, dangerous. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. <clears throat> they may be two levels above me. But they're all weak to my poisons. And they all have really good buffs. Oh, shit. I have really good heals! What? Alright, let's light this bird on fire. No reason, really. I just like lighting birds on fire. Excellent. One down and the rest, rest are all bleeding, poisoned, or on fire. But I got an item. And a raging clue. Well, actually, all of the puzzles have been pretty obvious, all things considered. It's not that complex, guys. Ballin'. We got another silver feather. No egg, though. Pieces. I need to improve fly for that, don't I? Okay, just barely. Okay, I need to improve fly for that. Alright, so. Next thing's up next, or whatever we saying goes. Ow.
Luckily, I'm apparently immortal for some reason. Ow. Got beans. I guess we're down here now. Some more, more smoke bombs. Still can't fit through that crap. Which annoys me. Like you wouldn't believe. I always need to evolve the bird. Treasure. A rare seashell. Hmm. So we're going back to the tree of the Darwinian tree. The tree of Darwin. Let's go. The bird. I haven't really done much with you. But now you're a bigger bird. Nice. Alright, let me check the other thing I got, actually. Bet it was just an item. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be useful later. Level up liquid real fast. Alright. And now, we should go back to uh, wherever What's-His-Face was. But first, let's see what the bird can do now. Oh! Oh ho ho! Excellent, the bird. You're so big and strong now. Come, nose hair. There is great works to be done. Just have to. What? 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 Ah, shit. There's great works to be done eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, geez. Alright, light a crab on fire. A great way to open up. Really great way to open up. Apparently, you can just cut everyone else on fire, too. Nice. Hmm. Well, that looks cool. Wasn't very effective, but by golly, it sure looked cool. Level 2 restores enough here. Then we'll slime shot or toxic slam this bird. And then long slash again. That's my whole strategy now, is just damage over time. Long slash! Tay, it's working! seashell and a shift stone what are these seashells for could it be Sally who sells seashells by the seashore yeah I'm sure that's not it oh wait nice beard Oh yeah, that's right. Nose hair's useful here. We got a nice belt. Just like Daddy used to beat us with. Whoop. Aha! Nimbly dodged. Master class. More like Master Ass, am I right? Oh, ha, 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 ha. I'm probably gonna fast forward this whole segment. And yeah, maybe I'll leave it in just for shits. Possibly even giggles. Alright, now we have to go save Dipshit McGee. 
and try not to spike ourselves to death again. Come on. Whoop. Thread the needle. Perfect. <laughs> ah, the bird. We have a monster capable of improved flying. Let's save them. So I did. I can't believe it. I was actually saved by you. Didn't you get your first monster just recently? Yes, and I'm a ranger. I think what he's trying to say is thank you. Hmm. I wouldn't go that far. If it wasn't you, maybe somebody else would have come along eventually. Anyways, I guess I owe you something now. Julia thinks she found the entrance to the treasure cave. It's in the underwater area below us. But she thinks it takes three people to open the entrance. You can help us with that. Of course! Let's go find that treasure. There's gotta be an alchemist in there, isn't there? All right, seems like we're getting close to that treasure. Yep, sure does. And now, wait. Hmm. I suppose not then, huh? Damn. Lots of things I cannot reach here. Aha! It's not that I don't want to fight, it's just that they tend to take up too much time, so I'll fight on my own damn time. I never have enough monsters yet. The answer is no. Sorry, I was concentrating. That's very hard for me to do. Whee! Wahoo! All right. It's a good thing we can all breathe underwater, apparently. This must be the entrance to the treasure cave. I'm sure of it. I just don't get how we were supposed to open it. I'm pretty sure the those switches on the ground are the key to it. Or more accurately, we are the key. It takes three to enter the Maw of the Beast, remember? So let's just try to stand on those ground switches and see what happens. All right, let's try it. Oh man, the obvious thing was obvious. Unbelievable. We must be the first people in centuries to enter this cave. Three centuries to be exact. Let's see what's inside, after me. Hey, wait a minute. We deserve to get some of those treasures too. Fucking book it. Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. Rocks don't work. I wonder if mushrooms would have worked. Kind of like I'm being swallowed. Is this a vor thing? How did you assholes get in here? Whoop! There we go. Whoop! Aha! Some treasure. Another rare sea ship. Hmm. Ah. And a memorial ring! And a book! <clears throat> but I have some interesting looking old books here. One of them seems to be a diary. The Daring, Extraordinary, and Fancy Excapades of Captain Carter. Written here are the true accounts of me, Captain Carter, the legendary pirate who terrorized the old world's oceans with his band of monsters. These accounts were written after I decided to retire from the life of piracy, but the stories of my deeds shall live on forever. If you are the first one to read this, you must have found out how to enter my treasure cave. Well done. You have proven to be my equal. However, to get my most valuable treasures, you have to defeat the guardian that I have left behind. One of my most loyal monsters. An ageless creature of the deep. We're gonna fight fucking Cthulhu. That's the end of my, the introduction. There's bookmarks stuck at one specific page later on in the book. November 10th, 202 AC. Today, when I was enjoying a fine drink at a certain wretched hive of scum and villainy, which shall remain unnamed, I was approached by a strange character. He called himself an alchemist. What I like the most, though, is that he started the conversation by dropping a heavy pouch of clinking gold coins on the table. He wanted to hire me for a simple smuggling job. Him and a group of other alchemists wanted to get inside the monster sanctuary. 
Thanks to my ship, which was able to freely cross the barrier between the old world and the monster sanctuary, I was the only one fit for the job. Sure, they were all rather strange fellows, wearing robes and masks with names unlike any I'd ever heard in any of the countries of the old world. But on the other hand, they had a lot of gold. Almost as they were able to craft it themselves. Interesting, isn't it? I realized too late it was false gold. All turned brittle after a month or two. They tricked me, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. There's another reason why I regret accepting the job, though. Their leader in particular, they called him Marduk, gave me the creeps. Never actually talked to him or saw what was under his mask, but I heard the other alchemists whispering about him, as if they were afraid of him themselves. I heard them say that none of them knew, in fact, what he looked like. Some even said that his figure and his voice would change sometimes, like he could shapeshift or something. I truly dread what I might have brought into the sanctuary, even if I don't live to see it fully unfold. That's the end of that part. There doesn't seem to be anything else of major relevance. Hmm. Well, that's fucking spoopy. Nope. Alright, now we just need to beat the, uh... Inevitable champion monster in the area, which is likely level 30 or something. And then we will have the treasure. Aren't you excited? I'm sure excited. And we'll see that next time. Until then, toodaloo, darlings.